Oh. <laughs> All right. So, let's talk about some Hindus. Hey. Hello, everybody, and welcome to do 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 do. Nick and Griffin talk about do 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 do. Hindus. Hinduism. And the people, that, yeah, that that thing. And the people that practice it, Hindus. So, it's believed that our lovely pals, the Hindus, started their practice. Makes them sound like doctors. Started practicing their religion around 2,300 BC. Now, Near, what does uh, BC stand for? Before Christ or before Whoa. Common Era. He's throwing the C word. Oh, that sounds bad. In Pakistan. Go on. Go on. <laughs> However, it's also argued by practitioners of the religion, Hindus, that their faith is timeless and has no real beginning or end. Yeah. Because the answer is unknown. <laughs> We also have no distinct idea of who the founder of the religion is, and is instead a mixture of several different beliefs. <laughs> under that the a toilet umbrella. seat tank cup? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> One entity. <laughs> we definitely know it took traction by the Vedic period in uh, 1500 BC, that's before Christ, Whoa. where we found many formulations of divine rituals and... The Vedas, a group Whoa. of holy writings related to the birth of the religion. The Puranic period afterward, for 500 BC to 500 AD, that's a thousand years What does AD stand for? After death. Death of who? Jesus Christ. Oh, he Began said it! The emphasis on worshipping the classic Hindu deities we know today like Vishnu and Shiva. We're gonna we get all know to them. those later. Oh, everyone you're gonna knows them. You're gonna learn. No, you don't know. I know. You don't know all of them. My favorite one, I bet you haven't heard of. Saraswati? <laughs> no. The <laughs> concepts of Dharma um, were established around 400 BC thanks to the Mahabharata. I beg your pardon. God bless you. Now let's talk about these deities that I was bringing up earlier, because the deities are are, are, are are big stuff, you know, big kahunas. They're all blue and multi-armed, and they're pretty cool looking, you know what I'm saying? Blue. So, you know, there's there was once a song by Eiffel 65 that went a little something like this. I'm blue, a daba di da Dubai. Um, in, I don't know if his, this is related to a in Hinduism. his small blue house with his blue little window. And I think there's something, yeah, let's just say something for the Corvette. <laughs> so we have the creator of the world and all living things. Anything you ever thought of and can see, feel, understand, you can thank Brahma for that. Yep. Here's a picture of Brahma. Thank Looking you. Looking all <laughs> Brahma-y. Uh, next, we have Vishnu, the preserver and protector of the universe. Vishnu. Yeah, he's 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 there. The good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then we have Shiva, which, despite it sounding like a woman's name, it's a guy, um, and it is the creator and destroyer, creating the philosophy of destroying in order to rebuild. Which I kind of want to bring up because that sounds a little bit like the philosophy of uh, Ra's al Ghul. Liam Neeson. Oh. Yeah, yo, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. To build it up again, you gotta bu -bu 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 burn it down. Uh, a little bit of that Phoenix stuff going excuse, on there. Excuse me, um, did you have a stroke? <laughs> don't worry about it, but, you know, All right. Ra's al Ghul, we'll I just, I just thought uh, that was cool. It's, it's, isn't it's it Rage? Hindu. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Devi! Um, I think that's Devi, 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 Devi. Is this like? <laughs> what is, this? is this? Uh, is this Candy Crush now? Kenny, the goddess that <laughs> fights to restore Dharma. Didn't know there was actually someone uh, so bureaucratic for that. Uh, Krishna, 
we know that one. We 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 know Krishna. He's he's good. Uh, the God of love Compassion, them. Tenderness, and Love. Bingo. Write that one off the bucket list. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, I gotta say. <coughs> um, Lakshmi. The goddess of... What did I say? Lakshmi. The goddess of wealth and purity. So if you have any good oh. fortune coming to you, you gotta thank Lakshmi, man. Because she's doing it. She's, hey, she's man. working. <laughs> we're, we're doing it. Yeah, and then we have Saraswati. Um, had to get that accent going just because, you know, it's, uh, it's right. The goddess of learning. What we're doing right now, we have to thank Saraswati for it. Welcome. And my favorite Hindu deity. I believe it's Hindu. And if not, I could be the laughing stock of this class. Hanuman. I love the monkey god, destroyer of demons. He picked up a whole mountain with one hand to save his best friend. Wow. And then he, like, like, he saved him. Yeah. Uh, you know, little known fact about mountains is <laughs> that Buckaroo Banzai actually drove through a mountain. Uh, little, <laughs> little known fact. He is a, a renowned scientist, rock star, and huge celebrity. Uh, if any of you guys don't know who that is in the class, then ashamed. We're coming for possibly. you. Possibly. Uh, distraught? Maybe. Um, sad? Definitely. Absolutely. Yes. So, holy texts. Um, we already talked about the Vedas, which more specifically are put together by the Rig Veda, the Yatra Veda, the Sama Veda, and the Atharva Veda. It's a lot of Vedas. It's a whole, like, boatload Nevada, of Veda, or as the commoners call it, Nevada. I get back <laughs> to that. So, we also discussed in brief the Mahabharata, which, I mean, the whole thing with the families and their fighting and then you know god came the, one of the gods came down was like did some stuff and you know we got a story going on it's like too, it's far too long to what really go do? through all the specifics but basically it's creation and uh, there's a bunch of other smaller ones um one of the bigger named ones to point out is the ramayana that's a uh, that's another thing to talk about and kind of look into um pretty cool stuff holy symbols because every religion has to have some kind of symbolism man so there are two main symbols that are directly associated to uh hinduism uh surprisingly only two we have the om and the swastika uh oh now <laughs> listen Break out your history textbooks. The swastika originally is drawn completely different than what you're thinking and is a symbol of good fortune and happiness. We got that Lakshmi stuff coming in here. Unlike the diagonally tilted pull out the dots in the spaces <coughs> symbol of no, she's 40. Um, what the, was that? The Om <laughs> um, is actually a representation of the sound of creation. So you can thank Brahma for that. Um, believed to be the, yeah, the power of Brahma um, who made everything. So it is a... It's like a it's like a bunch of vowels put together in the ancient Hindu language, but basically it creates the sound of om, um, which is a like the, the when you meditate. Yeah. Well, the reason why you do that is because since that's the sound of creation, kind of the calling card of Brahma, it kind of like brings you to a higher consciousness. Plus, with vibrations in the earth, it it makes sense. And it's it doesn't it like do something. When you say it, it sound it feels nice to say, right? Well, yeah, because it's it's a deep vibration. 
Um, and, and it's you can believed feel it in your core. It's believed that the actual center of the Earth has that vibrational frequency, um, as do other planets. Um, so when you ohm, it kind of vibrates you at a certain frequency of the Earth, and thus, you know, brings you to a higher level of consciousness, which is nice. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's nice. It's is, it is nice. Um, so the oh, though both symbols can be seen at many uh, temples and, and shrines. All right. It's your boy, Nick here, uh, Pastor Nick, coming at you live with some do 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 Hinduism information. Uh, Future Nick is sitting in the crowd right now, head in his hands, disappointed. Hi! Future Griffin. You signed up for this. Hi. Hi, Future Nick. Love How you. How you doing? You love Future Nick? What's wrong with current Nick, huh? Present Nick. Well, you Moving see, on. I owned too hard, and now I can only see... Griffin, I said moving on. How, how dare you interrupt me during my segment? Thank you. Please turn your camera back on. All right. <clears throat> Just coming at you live with <laughs> do 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 religious leaders. Clap. <laughs> All right. First off, we got Ram Krishna. Krishna. Ram Krishna. Krishna. Okay, yeah. Religious leader, founder of the school of religious thought that became the Ramakrishna order. Uh, yeah, what's that? Ram well, a little Google search <laughs> will tell me everything I need to know to answer. I was just curious. Uh, it, according to Wikipedia, uh, the most reliable source is a monistic <laughs> lineage that gave birth to the twin organizations uh, Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission. <laughs> so... Uh, I know we're all, all of us uh, students at Red Lion studying that Ramakrishna math. Two plus two, what does that equal? Nobody knows. Oh. Correct. Gold star for you. Next religious leader. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> is, hey, is, is Gandhi. <laughs> Gandhi. Oh, yeah, I forgot uh, he was Hindu. You know, he's, he's a big dude. I mean, he's not a big he's dude. Not, he's he's a, actually he's a very small, small dude. Uh, you know, he believed big, that... Big heart. He he didn't need to eat. Small stomach. He, went, he, he <laughs> hunger strikes. <laughs> big heart, small stomach. Gandhi. Uh, he was a peaceful man. He did peaceful protests uh, in his land, which don't know off the top of my head, but we've learned it at some point, so it's in there. Um Something like that. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> that is correct. Um, <clears throat> now, a little known fact about Gandhi is his wife was dying of a disease. And when asked uh, if she should receive a some sort of medicine, he said no. And <laughs> Gandhi's wife died. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so if that's any <laughs> kind of well. It could have been some Jedi kind of thing of like, well, he, yeah, he knew what was going to happen. He knew what was going to happen. <laughs> like, if he went that route, so he chose that because he knew, it. like, that Doctor Strange, like, thing, like, he, like, figured out it was the best possible solution. For her to die. Sometimes it takes one small death to bring freedom to th millions. I don't think her death brought any freedom to anything. I think she just died. How do you how do you know? Do you do you have that consciousness? Do you have old right here? Next one. Do 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 <laughs> is Ch 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 Chaitanya? How do you say that, Griffin? Chaitanya. That's not a very right Italian there. when it's not. Uh, <laughs> the 15th century Krishna devotee uh 
uh, elevated to the status of sainthood uh, through intense devotion to Krishna. Um, you know him, uh, devoting to gods. Uh, bhaka, bhak, bhakti? Bhak, bhakti? 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 Um, <laughs> bhakti. <laughs> you know him. We all know him. We all love him. He's going to be in the next hit blockbuster movie. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, religious ceremonies and rituals. Do 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 do. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the beat. Um, you in the back. Answer. Read this out loud. Read me this. <laughs> I was waiting for a class participation. You in the yellow. Read the text. Go on. I'm waiting. <laughs> you you know the document. Why aren't you reading it? Come on, man. The most uh, common... Hey, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> the most common rituals practiced in all Hindu households are pu puja? <laughs> puja. 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 Meditation, silent prayers, yoga, recitation of scriptures from the back. Bahag Bhagavad Gita, Gita or Bahajans, uh, religious reading religious books. Uh, who doesn't? Uh, I know I read uh, the lore of Star Wars some from time to time. Uh, participating in satsang. Uh, is that it's prayer meetings? Satsang. Uh, yeah. Performing charitable work. I think anybody can do that. So hey, if you donate to charity or do any kind of charitable work. There you go. If you give a kid a dollar, you're getting enlightened. If you give me a dollar right now, if you pull a dollar out of your pocket and give it to current future Nick, then he or will... Or me. I'll take it too. Just Nick. Uh, it won't work on Griffin. Griffin doesn't have the... I'm going to hell. senses. You can't say that word. It's a school project. <laughs> you can't say that word, Griffin. It's a, it's a place, so technically For it's not a... It's not hey! A, <laughs> That's not what I asked. I said you couldn't say it. You say what the H or uh, <laughs> no? Because I'm using it in the form of a location, not oh, not okay. a okay. not a swear okay. word. Okay. It's a place. Okay. It's okay. in the Bible. Okay. 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 Step off. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> visiting a temple happens. Everybody knows a temple nearest temple. Uh, mines at the giant. Uh, and chanting the name of their beloved god, uh, much like Joe Pesci. I was trying. <sighs> really, just grinding my gears tonight. Um, <laughs> it is through these rituals, prayers, and sacred ceremonies that Hindus pay their reverence to God. Reverence, 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 reverence. It's all the same. It's all mumbo jumbo. That's what the government wants you to think. Okay. Um, next Say segment. Good night, everybody. D I'm not done. <laughs> next segment. Do, 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 do. Next segment. <laughs> do, 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 do. How people practice uh, Hinduism, even though religious ceremonies and rituals are kind of the same thing, but it's okay. Uh, it's uh, primarily individual act uh, rather than a communal one as it involves making personal offerings to the deity. Worshippers repeat the names of their favorite gods and goddesses, much like I said before, and repeat mantras. Now, what's a mantra? That is a good question. Uh, thank you for asking that. Um, mantra. Hey, I hear you over there. I'm, Quiet down, you. Uh, I'm just, I'm a word or sound repeated to aid concentration in meditation. An example of mantra? That's a good question, Mrs. Main. Um example <laughs> hey what did i say not during I'm my trying. speech hey <laughs> uh, uh an example of a mantra is uh well how to create your own mantra i am lovable i am loved i am destined to find love Okay, these are about love. This is just kind of sad. I'm one with the force, and the force is one with me. That isn't a mantra. Yes, it is. In the the world of Star Wars, yes, but not in. Well, right then it's a mantra. I will break this keyboard. Okay, I am still. Prayers. 
I have the click remote from Adam Sandler's hit movie Click. I will mute you. <laughs> hey, 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 what did I say? <laughs> right? Um, sorry, future Nick. This is this one goes out to you. Uh, totally tubular. Uh, anyway, we're supposed to repeat the names of their. I already said that. Water, fruit, flowers, and incense. Uh oh, are offered to God. Um, Love so that's smell. fun. Lovely smell. You can get ones that smell like anything, like cotton candy or buttered popcorn or <laughs> burning rubber. There was a Yankee candle uh, that existed that was burning rubber. Anyway, moving on. Uh, that's it. That's it. The next subject is do 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 the end. Uh, <laughs> um, that's Hinduism in a nutshell. Even though it's not in a nutshell, it's in this funny little video format that we're in. It's technically in the shape of an ohm. Man, you really just love to get on my nerves. Thank you, Griffin, my co-host. Look at him make that face. He's so happy. Um, thank you, me, past me, current me. Uh, current me is in this one uh, for doing this. And thank you, future me, for being present to watch and sit through and listen and be tortured by your, your past self. Hi, future me. Say hi back. You're looking lovely today. Are you talking to me or are you talking to you? I'm talking to whoever I want to be. Oh, well, that's awfully nice of you. Maybe, yeah. Maybe no, you said no, that to I Mrs. Mean, Maine yeah, to get a I, little bit more extra credit on maybe, that assignment. You know what? I'm thinking. I have plans on plans. Maybe you didn't color in the map well enough, and you need a little bit more cheddar cheese for that how score. How dare you question my coloring skills? You know how I feel about colors and what they do to my mind, man. <laughs> Now, this is the last portion of the presentation. Um, do 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 promotional advertisements. This book, uh oh, uh oh, you can't. It's censored. It doesn't have a bad word on it. Um, hold on, if I can get it to focus. Hello. Maybe move your face. Is it focus? No. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh well, now it isn't, because you keep moving it. Anyway, ah! This Is Anything by... Or Is This Anything? I have dyslexia. Uh, by Jerry Seinfeld, the hit uh, co-creator of the show. Big City Fairly Green on oh. Disney XD. <laughs> I love that show. Every time I wake up in the morning, crack a dawn, I... S big old stretch. You crack a what? I crack of dawn. Uh, <laughs> I get a big old stretch going. I go, hoorah! And then I, I get out of bed. I scurry on downstairs in my Christmas-themed PJs, which are always Christmas-themed. I don't like Christmas. Uh, <laughs> and I go on downstairs to watch a good old episode of Big City Greens because it reminds me how little we have left in this world. And... <laughs> um, little time we have to spend with our family. It's, a, it's like a combination of Pee Wee Herman and Solid Snake. Did I ask you? <laughs> no, what? I told you. Oh, okay. That's okay, then. Uh, do you, <laughs> do, should we <laughs> conclude this? It's yeah. been done for 20 minutes. Uh, Actually, Griffin? about 25. <laughs> Griffin, you want to... Yeah, see you, everybody. Hey. Goodbye. Be good to your mom. Be good to your grandmother, because yeah. she's old, and she's ancient, and she knows what she's talking about. So you better not sass her about what the answer to a family feud question is, you, you hermit. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's got yeah. candy. <laughs>